The Boston Celtics. They're in a little bit of a pickle right now with just signing Dennis Schroeder. So we're going to be doing a Boston Celtics rumor rebuild to try and make the Celtics as good as humanly possible. Rebuild time. <laughs> I don't know why I did that, but I did it now. <laughs> anyway, if you haven't subscribed to the channel right now, would mean a lot. Like, do it right now, please. Press that red button. That'd be great. Um, also, follow us on all the socials down in the description below. But today, we're doing the uh, Boston Celtics rumor rebuild, which if you haven't, check out the other rumor rebuilds I've done. It should be in this playlist. If I've done it right. Also, don't mind the boxes here. I've been waiting for a tabletop for my desk. So, there's boxes there until I can get... Uh, get my desk sorted. <laughs> but let's get into the video, shall we? So if you don't know how these video works, we have about one season, one or two seasons to build the best team we can off of off-season rumors for the Boston Celtics. What we do, we go on sites like these and we look at rumors. So there are a couple trades that I would like to explore on this for this Boston Celtics team. I would like to keep Brown and Tatum together for on for at least one more season. See what comes down. I'm not, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to get like Damian Lillard or anything like that. But what I do think we could potentially go after is Bradley Beal. I think if we offered up, say, Al Horford and then chucked, say, uh, we'd have to put in probably Ennis Cantor and then maybe a couple of young players like a Naismith who did actually just go off really much last uh, in the summer league before. If we can somehow pull off a Bradley Beal trade, which... Let's be honest, if you're the Celtics, you give up another young asset, such as Romeo Langford, right? And then chuck in like three first round picks, the trade would probably go through. So if I'm being honest, in the real world, maybe they'll have to give up those players plus maybe two more first round picks for Bradley Beal. I think a trade like that could potentially work in uh, for the Celtics if they are 100% going after Bradley Beal and looking for that next player alongside Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. Bradley Beal can be that. And because of that, we need more bigs off of the bench. Like the starting five, I'm fine with. We need bigger players and forwards off the bench. I'm fine with Josh Richardson and Marcus Smart, although they do play quite similarly, and I don't really want to have them both, but for this first season, we'll have them both see what goes down. So we're going to have to trade like Carson Edwards and uh, Trey Mann or someone like that for forwards or a big, which Hassan Whiteside from the Jazz, I don't think the Jazz want to give up Hassan Whiteside, if I'm being honest with you. And possibly a trade for DeAndre Jordan. And possibly a trade for DeAndre Jordan could be it for the Boston Celtics. They want another first and a second. Sure, whatever. I'll make that. They want another second. What if, hear me out, I give up... Okay, I'm going to have to give up a first, aren't I? How about if I take out that first? Could this trade just go through? They want two second round picks. I will take that. There we go. We've got ourselves DeAndre Jordan for a center off the bench. And now we need a forward. Probably, possibly a small forward power forward. A bigger power forward that could play small forward. That would be elite off of this bench. Could I give up Peyton Pritchard for Jalen McDaniels? If I can. Thank you, Charlotte. We got ourselves Jalen McDaniels for our bench as well, which means we're going to actually swap these minutes around. So Jalen's getting minutes over Carson. Uh, but yeah, we'll have a bench that's pretty deep, I suppose. That's not bad. And then we have Robert Williams, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, and Bradley Beal all starting for us. And Dennis Schroeder, of course, our starting point guard. So I'm still going to have Tatum as our first scoring option, Beal, and then Brown. Do we have any four-star systems? As you can see, we, uh, we do kind of have Jacob Underwood as our head coach because the Celtics' actual head coach isn't in the game. And the Boston Celtics are the projected fourth seed this year. So let's see how this new new look Celtics team will go. If they win a championship, that's cool, but I don't expect them to do much, if I'm being honest. At the All-Star break, we do have Bradley Beal and Jason Tatum, so that's pretty good for us. That's good. Giannis ends up winning MVP. We don't get any awards here. Fair enough. Do we get all NBA teams? We do get Jason Tatum, second team, so that's pretty cool. That's cool, that's cool, but no one else. Nice. We finish as a sixth seed, taking on the Chicago Bulls, because that's normally what happens when we are controlling the Celtics. JT dropped 37 and 5 on 1.6 steals a game and almost a block a 
Jason Tatum, bro. Too good. Paired alongside Bradley Beal, who almost also dropped 33 and 6. And then Brown dropped about 21 uh, and a half, 5.3 and 4 assists a game on a steal a game as well. So that's good as well. Very good from this team. I'm probably going to be getting rid of Josh Richardson this offseason. Just saying. Offensively, we were the 10th best team. Our defense was the 5th best. And our differential was the oh, 7th best. Ooh, that's not good. So, first round here against the Bulls, and we lose in six games, because that's normally what happens in the first season. So, this second season is a season where we're actually going to probably try and win, like, for real. So, the Bulls win the championship, and Zach Levine finals MVP. So, we got to listen to, look at, look around, find some rumors, uh, see who find some rumors that the Boston Celtics could pro possibly get. Team player options here. We're just going to make sure people do come onto the team. Carson Edwards and Jalen McDaniels. Yes, we're going to have to re-sign Bradley Beal. Fair enough. Robert Williams. Uh, sure, all those guys can come back, but like I'm 100% re-signing Bradley Beal to a maximum deal, bro. 100%. I'm even going to give him no trade clause just to make sure he actually does come back. Uh, Marcus Smart, sure, he can get some money. And Robert Williams can get some money as well. I might sign and trade uh, Josh Richardson, though. I will possibly tr sign and trade Josh Richardson. Just going to chuck that out there. Uh, so what's the cap space looking like for us? We are currently $58 million in the cap. And we're going to have a look around, see what we can get for Josh Richardson. I really wanted Larry Marketing, but he isn't signed to a tr deal yet. He isn't signed to a deal yet, so I'm going to have to wait on Larry. Okay. he could be. He's a definitely a good shooter, rebounder off the bench, though. So I would like Larry Marketing, but I know he's probably not going to come onto the team. If I just skip over to player progression, right, who do we get back? Compazzo, Bonga comes back. And no one's gone down except DeAndre Jordan. So we might be moving on from DeAndre and Josh Richardson in the, before the season begins. We got the one training camp, and it's going perimeter defense to... Bradley Beal, sure. Let's make Bradley Beal a bit of a better defender because he does need a need a little, little bit. Let's be honest. Uh, so Josh Richardson, DeAndre Jordan, could you guys get us? If we're giving up DeAndre, we need a backup center. So if we do that and also maybe a backup point guard, maybe something like that could happen. You want to know something ridiculous? Larry Market and went back to the Bulls. I'll give you a first round pick, bada bing, bada boom. We have ourselves Larry Markinen, who's a good power forward off the bench. We then have Smart, Carson Edwards, we don't need now because we have Marcus Smart. So Carson Edwards with, say, Isaac Bonga. Actually, no, we'll go Jalen McDaniels. Yes, we gave up a second round pick for him, but, but, I'm pretty sure. I did see Matisse Tybel, and I also see Otto Porter. Otto Porter could be really, really good on this team. We also need a better starting point guard because Dennis Schroeder's gone. Can we uh, get Schroeder back? <laughs> he's gone to the Hornets. Could we somehow bring Dennis Schroeder back? I don't know how much cap he... He's making a bit of money, to be fair. Which means we're going to be needing... Which means we're going to be needing another starting point guard. I suppose we could use Dylan Wright in a trade. Um, He's making a bit of money. We can use him, use him in a trade. We've also got a mid-level exception that we can maybe use on Lonnie Walker. He doesn't want to use it. Carmelo Anthony. <laughs> he also doesn't want it. Marquise Chris. He wants it. Beautiful. Thank you. We got Marquise Chris. We can move him to the power forward and trade him with Dylan Wright. Maybe get ourselves a backup a starting point guard, not making too much money. We can actually get Dennis Schroeder back. Plus, we also get Otto Porter. I like that deal a lot. That literally fills out two. So that gives us our starting point guard, Dennis Schroeder back. Plus, we also get Otto Porter off of our bench. I like that a lot. I really, really do. Uh, so yeah, Carson Edwards now can get traded for maybe a proper point guard off the bench, I suppose. Now look. What could also happen, I have seen rumors about this, and that is the Celtics trading for Damian Lillard. So if, say, the boss, if the uh, Portland Trailblazers don't have a good off-season, good season this year, well, yeah, this year, let's just say, and Lillard decides to up and leave, I think we can make this happen. Chuck in four first-round picks for the second-best point guard in the league, for Jalen Brown, uh, Dennis Schroeder, and four first-round picks, I think the Portland Trailblazers would accept that deal. We can then play Jason Tatum at the three, 
have Larry Markkinen at the four and Robert Williams at the five. Have Otto Porter, Marcus Smart off the bench, and we need to fill out a couple of positions off this bench now, such as a center. Uh, a cent we need a center and a power forward, to be honest with you. I don't know how this is a trade, to be fair. Carson Edwards, Jalen McDaniels for Obi Toppin. I mean, the Knicks wouldn't do that, would they? No. We could get Gogar Badazzi off of our bench, which I think could be really, really handy. He's having a pretty good... He's improving every single season. Gogar Badazzi can be our backup center. If we then use Melly Campazzo, uh, plus, say, this second round pick that we literally just got... Could we get ourselves a backup power forward? No, we're going to have to trade, make our own trade here. If we can give up Justin Jackson and a second for Isaiah Roby, why the heck not would we not do that? Isaiah Roby is a decent young power forward that we can use off the bench. So for this second season, we're going to be running a Lillard, Bill, Tatum, Markkinen, and Williams starting five. We then have Otto Porter, Gogo Badazzi, Marcus Smart, and Isaiah Roby off of our bench. I'm still going to have Tatum as the scoring option, Lillard, and then Bill as our big three. Do we have any four and a half star assists? Systems. We'll stick to balance and the Celtics are projected to be the fifth seed this year. So let's simulate the second season and see what goes down. And for the first time in a while, we've got three All-Stars. We have ourselves Dame Dollar, Bradley Beal and Jason Tatum. Good on you, boys. So at the end of the season, we go 61 and 21. Kevin Durant wins MVP. Chet Holmgren, Rookie of the Year. Uh, and then Jalen Green, sixth man. Big up Jalen Green. <laughs> uh, Jonathan Isaac and LaMelo Ball win all those awards. We do end up getting Coach of the Year. Fantastic. We get Damian Lillard, All-NBA third team. That's the only one we get. But we finish as a one seed this year, which is what we like to see. So Lillard dropped 30. <laughs> 3 and 10. Bill dropped 28, 3 and 7. Then Tatum dropped 27, 6 and 4. And gee whiz. Then Markin and Otto Porter, Goga, Smarker Smart, Robert Williams, Roby, all that stuff. Offensively, we're the best team. Our defense fell off a bit. We're just outside the 10, but our offense, I think, made up for it. Yeah, we had three players averaging over 25 points per game. Like, it was pretty overpowered. Let's just be honest. <laughs> By the way, we just won the first round against Miami. Second round here against the Hawks, and we lose in six, seven games, sorry. I don't think I've won a championship here in 2K on a video for so long. I'm sure you guys know more than me. <laughs> but the team of Tatum, Lillard, and Beal, with Williams, Markkinen, Smart, Otto Porter, Gogar Badazzi, and Isaiah Roby as role players... Apparently, it doesn't get your championship according to 2K. Well, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this Boston Celtics rumors video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. It means a lot. We're trying to hit 20,000 subscribers. So if you haven't, subscribe to the channel right now. And I mean, like, right now, boys. <laughs> but, guys, let me know down in the comments if there's anything you'd like to see or what you thought of this video. Thumbs up, thumbs down, either or helps us out a bunch. But I'll catch you guys in the next video. Boy.